Hi there! Today we're going to recreate Zendaya's look at the Oscars and I'm talking about the second look that she wore. I think she wore this particular look at the after party or something like that. First she wore that silver beautiful soft look and uh, then she wore the look that I'm going to recreate today, that deep black sparkly graphic look. And what's even cooler about this look is that she did it herself, like she did her makeup herself at the Oscars, which I gotta admit I'm really impressed with that. Is there anything this woman cannot do? She acts, she sings, she does flawless makeup and she's gorgeous. <laughs> Anyways, the thing is I don't really trust my eye shape with this look. I do have deep set rounded eyes, but we're going to try to make this work. I'm going to explain why I don't trust my eye shape with this one. If you look at her, what this look is basically all about is that you notice where your crease is and do an extension around that. Do an extension kind of on the outer corner and inner inner corner as well. Because I have rounded eyes, my crease ends kind of high up because it's a circle here basically. So if I wanted to create the same effect, I would have to apply black starting from here and it would be a lot of black involved. I don't know how I'm going to do things, but we're going to figure it out. Anyways, I'm really excited about this one. I just wanted to throw that out there in case it doesn't turn out the same, because it's normal that it doesn't turn out the same because we have different eye shapes. But I'm going to try my best, so let's get into it. I'm gonna do the entire eye look in the beginning, so what I wanna do is because it has an extension here and uh, some lower lash line shadow, of course, I'm going to apply concealer first, and this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm just going to conceal this part here so I can freely go over it and create my eyeshadow shape. I'm going to apply a tiny bit on my lids to serve as an eyeshadow primer and, uh, I don't know, maybe some here. I have a little bit of discoloration here and if I do apply the eyeshadow now, I won't be able to conceal it afterwards because obviously I'm going to ruin the eyeshadow. I'm going to use my finger to blend it in. Just going to tap it like that. I have slightly shorter nails. Let me see if I can reach my inner corner. <laughs> okay, it's uh, doable. <laughs> Just going to extend whatever is left on my finger on my under eyes. Now I'm nervous because I need to do the placement and uh, I'm going to use a pencil base. This is a Sephora collection glide liner in the shade deep black. It's just a black eye pencil. My lid is a little bit too big for this look. That's the problem because if my crease was a little bit lower, I wouldn't have issues at all with the placement. But right now I have a little bit of an issue. <laughs> I'm actually going to start from my uh, lower lash line. My outer corner here is actually the problem because I have to connect it with the top of my lid basically. Or I should maybe adjust that kind of to my eye shape. I'm going to bring it kind of uh, halfway on my lid here and I'm gonna need to smudge it a little bit. So I'm just going to do that while it's still a little bit wet, let's say. I think I can manage with this shape. It's a little bit different than hers, but adjusts it to my rounded eyes. So I kind of placed it in uh, continuing my uh, crease a little bit. So I'm not bringing it up towards my crease level. Maybe with the blend, I'm going to blend it with the gray probably or something like that. I'm gonna think about it. But this placement right now, I'm really happy with it. Let's see the inner portion as well because I do have closed set eyes. So that huge extension here is probably going to bring my eyes even closer to my nose. Here, again, you kind of have to cover your, in your entire inner lid. Kind of something like that. I'm not going to bring it too high because of my deep set eyes. I don't like a lot of darkness here. And here I'm going to do a little extension. And I'm really going to fill in my waterline. I think this is actually gonna work. Oh my god, I love this. But I do have to be really careful, like one wrong stroke of the pencil and it's going to be ruined, so I have to be really careful with it. I'm going to try to fold my lid and kind of attempt to make it look a little bit smaller. 
So I'm not going to cover my entire lid with it. The secret is you have to keep your eyes open and see how the end result is going to look like. So I'm actually going to bring it kind of like that, even though my lid kind of stops right here. I don't want to cover it with a lot of black though. So let's try to fool that. <laughs> okay, I think I'm happy with that. And again, I'm going to smudge it. I didn't expect to love that. <laughs> I feel like I need a tiny bit of an adjustment on my outer corner. This outer corner kind of points a little bit downwards. I'm going to have to lift it up a little bit. Something like that. So it looks a little bit more fierce. <laughs> I am feeling powerful. To set this into place, you would need a shimmery black eyeshadow. A glittery black eyeshadow, actually. I do have here a little YSL sequin crush. If you don't have a glittery black, just use a matte black. But this is co going to make the look a little bit more editorial-like. And I will need a kind of like a small smudging brush like that. This <laughs> used to be a precision crease brush from Makeup Addiction. I flattened it because it was rounded. Um, so this is kind of like my creation. <laughs> so I'm just going to pick up the shadow on my brush and tap off the excess and I'm gonna use it on top of the pencil. I'm going to apply it everywhere I apply the pencil. I picked up a little bit more. I'm going to set my inner corner as well. I'm trying really really hard to not mess it up. The beauty of it is that it's not that blended. It kind of stays a little bit graphic. I mean I will soften the edges a little bit but I don't have to extend it a lot with the blend. And see how that really really transforms my eye shape. Now I'm going to take a little bit of a cool toned brown shade to kind of diffuse the edges of the black a little bit. I'm going to pick up my Naked Wild West palette from Urban Decay and use this cool toned shadow here. I'm going to pick it up on a shading brush from uh, Real Techniques. I really don't want to blend a lot but I just want a little bit of diffusing on the edges. So I'm being very gentle, not putting a lot of pressure on the brush. Like I said, especially for this look, this is the placement that we want. You don't want to over blend and move the shadows around too much. A little bit of diffusing the solder corner. I'm also going to bring it kind of uh, in my crease. And kind of connecting with this inner part here. And I'm going to blend this one as well. And I'm going to use it on the lower lash line as well. On the lid I'm going to need a silver shade and luckily I have one here in the Wild West palette. Um, I'm going to just take it on my finger. I might apply some other glitter on top of it but we'll see. I'm going to follow the shape that I created, kind of the imaginary shape and pretend that my lid is a little bit smaller than it actually is. So I'm not going to apply it all the way up to my crease. I'm kind of going to follow the imaginary lid that I created. I think I need to bring the black a little bit inwards here. So I'm just going to use that little black glittery eyeshadow. And uh, kind of bring it inwards. And I'm going to blend again. Just a little bit. And I'm actually going to use my uh, pinky and apply the shadow on the center of my lower lash line as well. And what I want to do to this silver is add a little bit more glitter with this Fenty Diamond Bomb in how many carats? Just going to pick it up on my finger and do the same thing. Same thing on my lower lash line. I finished my other eye and now I'm going to move on to the face makeup. I'm first going to prime using my Makeup Forever Dullness Eraser on the sides of my face. I don't know how I'm going to apply foundation right here, but like, we're going to see. <laughs> I'm just going to blend it in with my fingers. And in the center of my face, I'm going to apply a pore filling primer. This is the Beauty Blender Leveler. Just concentrating this in my pores and really press it in. I didn't really think that this eye look is going to suit my eye shape, but I really love how it came out. <laughs> I'm so happy with it. For foundation, I still have to finish the Fenty Hydrating Longwear Foundation, so I'm going to apply 
a pump of each shade. I do have the shade 150 and the shade 180. I'm going to mix them on my hand and I'll be spreading them evenly on my face. Damn. Yeah, both shades. <laughs> so it's damn. I'm concentrating it in the center of my face and I'm going to use this Real Techniques sponge to blend it in. I don't think I need all of it. A little bit of this product goes a long way. You can now use it to clean it up if you need to, I don't know, lift the eyeshadow a little bit higher. I want to do the eyebrow pencil contour thing, so I'm going to use my Goof Proof in the shade 3.5 by Benefit. So I'm applying it kind of high here underneath my cheekbone and dragging it down as it reaches the center of my face. A little bit of lift contour. Let's do the jawline as well. And dragging it down my neck. A little bit of contour underneath my nose to lift it up visually. And uh, ah, forehead. And here as well to lift up my outer corner. And I'm going to blend it with the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. How are you supposed to fit this in your crease? Whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna blend upwards, again for a lifting effect. I kind of like this technique. But I think I will go through this pencil pretty fast. <laughs> like that's the only downside. I might get a more affordable pencil just to do this. <laughs> Here I like connecting the contour with my eyeshadow. And I'm going to blend the jawline contour down my neck. And let's not forget about the lips, because I almost did. <laughs> I'm gonna apply a little bit of my Maybelline Fit Me concealer underneath my eyes, even though I did conceal the inner portion in the beginning, but I do want more cohesive color underneath my eyes. So I'm going to apply it and drag it down a little bit. And I'm going to use the same uh, sponge to blend it out. And again, you can use it to shape the eyeshadow and clean it up if you need to. I'm going to set my under eyes with the sponge for a little bit of brightening. I really love that effect that it gives. So I'm just going to take some powder here on my sponge and just press it into my skin. I'm not really doing baking, so I'm just pressing the powder and I'm also pressing it into my pores area and that really smooths out the pores. I'm going to apply a little bit of bronzer as well. This is my Dior Nude Bronzer. I'm just going to place it a little bit above the contour to warm up my skin. For blush, I'm going to go for my blush cheek palette from Sigma. I'm going to go for this shade. I feel like it resembles hers the most. I think you can find it as an individual as well. Just going to apply it kind of high up and on the sides of my face. For highlighter, I'm going to use my beloved e.l.f. baked highlighter in the shade Moonlight Pearls. And going to apply it high up on my cheekbone here. Tip of the nose, in between my brows. <laughs> A little bit above my brows and uh, on my chin and actually jawline. <laughs> I kind of want to include this in my um, everyday looks. On the lips it does look like she's wearing just a pencil and a gloss. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to use the Boys and Berries lip pencil in the shade Butter Nude. I always laugh when I look at this because it's so tiny. Her lip color looks a little bit more brownish, not as peachy toned as mine is. But I don't have anything that resembles that, so I'm just gonna use what I have. <laughs> I'm actually going to fill in a little bit since I'm only going to apply gloss, and glosses are not that pigmented. I have this little sample from Sephora collection. It's so tiny and cute. And uh, this is the gloss in the shade 120, just a gold. Let me see how that looks. I think it's pretty suitable. The water is so bad, it just started getting so cloudy and uh, I think it's going to rain. <laughs> and I still need to apply mascara. I'm going to heat up my lash curler a little bit. 
I think she has falsies going on on, uh, on her look, but I don't know if I'm going to apply any. I'm going to see how it looks without any false lashes and I'm going to think about it. Maybe I'll apply falsies again in the day that I purchase a uh, clear lash glue. Because with my black one, it's just such a, such a struggle. I'm using my uh, the mascara from Sephora collection. Oh, I just noticed something I need to line underneath my lashes. And I'm going to use it on the lower lashes as well. It's so very important. I'm going to line underneath my lashes. It kind of makes it look a little bit more complete, let's say. And this is the finished look. Let me know what you think. I'm really happy with how it came out. I don't know, I just adjusted it to my eye shape. It does look a little bit more intense than hers. Kind of uh, the black kind of covers a little bit more of my eye because I do have bigger lids. I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this tutorial useful. I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!